of the kiss. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. Reach for the reception and ask to visit someone who calls herself the holder of the kiss. The clerk will look at you with a mix of both pity and slight confusion. You will find yourself slightly puzzled by her look, but you must not think about it too much or you will find yourself lost, never finding what you are after. Wait motionless, and after a few seconds, the clerk should point to a pink door to the left. Approach it, but do not enter just yet. Instead, grasp the doorknob gently with your right hand. If you get a feeling of shock as you touch it, Flee as fast as you possibly can. Do not stop for anything, not even to sleep. For if you do stop, they will find you. If you are able to escape the country without harm, you are safe, for now. If the knob is soothing to the touch, however, feel free to enter, but it is not too late to leave. If you choose to continue, open the door with great care. When you step inside, you should hear a distant choir singing a lovely melody that will fill your soul with the innermost pleasures. Do not say a word, and if they, for any reason, stop, immediately yell, Please continue, I wish not to intrude. If the silence persists, pray for a painless demise by the unimaginably horrific creatures lurking in the blackness. If they continue singing, carry on. After what seems like hours of wandering in darkness, you should stumble upon a ruby-red door. Knock on its frame thrice. If you hear a demonic voice speaking a language no human could understand, you will know that the creature has been summoned, and that your life will end now. If there is no answer, continue inside. Inside will be a room with walls made of the souls of lost loved ones. In the center of the room shall be a beautiful woman gazing upon you. Do not dare look away from her, for if you do, unimaginable horrors will be cast upon you. Approach her, but do not get less than ten feet from her. She will be speaking a language that you will not understand, yet somehow it is soothing. She will answer to nothing but one question. Will they ever find peace? At this time, the woman will fall absolutely silent, but she will not break her gaze upon you, and neither should you with her. She will not answer the question, instead walking slowly and gracefully toward you. Do not make any attempt to move. She will then passionately kiss you on your cheek. Once she is done, she will disappear into the shadows. Where she kissed you, there will be a small, flawless ruby embedded into your cheek. You now hold her object. This ruby is object 193 of 538. It must remain with you for the rest of your mortal days. Attempting to remove the gem will be one of the biggest mistakes you will ever make.